Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because today I have Charlotte of charlotteohara.ca and we are going to share with you how to get started with Squarespace SEO. She is a Squarespace expert. She's got all the good tips, um, but we're going to start it off really easy today and just go over how you can get started. So if SEO is one of those things that you've been avoiding because it feels way too technical, we are going to make it easy for you. All right. So Charlotte, why don't you tell us what SEO is to begin with? Okay, sure thing. Uh, hi, Louise. Hi, everyone. So SEO stands for search engine optimization. And basically, that's just like a fancy way of saying how to get your how to make sure that your website shows up in front of the right people. So how can you get the content on your website, whether it's web pages or blog posts or you know, even other things like YouTube videos, like SEO comes into play there because you want to make sure that it's showing up in search results when people type in a certain thing. Exactly. So it's super important. I definitely, in all my trainings on Squarespace, I'm like, okay, you have to make sure that you're optimizing it so that people are actually coming to your website. Totally. It's free traffic. Like how good it is, is that? Yeah. That you don't right? have to pay for each person. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you don't have to pay for it. And like SEO is so useful too, because if you have this amazing website and content you worked so hard on, like why wouldn't you want to get it in front of the right people, right? Like that's where SEO comes into play. Exactly. I love like, and it's really not as hard as it seems. Mm -mm. It, yeah, I mean, it mm -mm. took me a while to, to like it, but once you actually just dive into it, it's really not that difficult. Totally. And I think when it comes to SEO, people are really like, they there's a lot of misconceptions that everything is like long-term strategy, like nothing will happen for like months on end. And like the fact is that there are some really, you know, tweaks you can do specifically within the Squarespace platform. And they're kind of more like quick wins. You can think about it, right? Like you fill out certain settings, make sure that you have like, you know, certain things connected and these things will, it won't take you that long to do, but it has a big impact. And then from there, once you've got all the basics covered, you can move on to some of these like, longer term strategies that people think about. Okay, awesome. Okay, so super exciting. So what would you say for people that are brand new, just getting started, what should they do in Squarespace? Okay, so if you're just getting started with Squarespace and you've never even like thought about SEO before, the very first thing that I want you to do is go and log into the back end of your Squarespace website and there are certain settings that you want to fill out. So the very first thing you might wanna look at is something like, have you filled out the site title field properly? You know, like, is that site title going to be picked up properly? And then from here, the next thing I want you to do is go to every single page that you have on your blog, on your website, and make sure that you have all of the, um, what is it, like the name, um, SEO, and like page descriptions filled out. And so when you open up any page, you'll see that there's a couple different like field options there. And when you have named those and also filled in like the description boxes, that's providing so much valuable information to Google directly, like directly to Google. This is what you're telling them that you're saying, here's what these pages are. Here's a little blurb about what they're about. That blurb is going to show up in search results. And you want to do that for every single page that exists on your website, whether it's like a normal page, an index page, like all that good stuff. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And how do they know, like, how do they know what keywords they should be putting in there? Like, how do they know what essential, you know, words need to go so that Google does pick it up? Mm -hmm. So when you're first getting started, like if you, if you're like, oh, I, I don't know what keywords are, I haven't even researched it yet. Like think about natural language and be like, what, what are some of the main topics that you talk about? Or like, who are you serving? And like, you, you can even take out a piece of paper or like grab a Google doc and start typing, but your keywords could be something like, um, you know, let's say like, if you're a lifestyle blogger, you could be like lifestyle blogger, like focused on X or something, or like, um, you know, landscaping services for Seattle, Washington, or like, you know, like attorneys in upstate New York, or I don't even know, like whatever your kind of keywords are and stuff. So before you like keyword step is it's a bit more advanced, but just start with thinking like what is natural language and then incorporate that into your website and into these SEO and like description fields that I'm mentioning right now. 
Yeah, I mean, I love that Squarespace has given us so many opportunities to add in these descriptions that they're going to pick up. It's so good. Totally. Yeah. Exactly. Like they're saying, here's the exact field that is integrated with Google, like Squarespace and Google should, Squarespace and Google have like this partnership. So they're saying, look, fill these out directly, make sure that you've got it. And that will already take you ahead of so many other websites. <laughs> it's, it's so true. Like sometimes like, it's just as so many yeah. as fill it in, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, and another thing that I wanted to talk about quickly is if you have a physical business, there's um, also a field that you might want to fill out and it's called like the physical location field. Um, and I think maybe you'll like show it in a screenshot or something yeah, here. I'll, I'll um, put in all this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hard to say, go here, go here, go here. Yeah, yeah. And if you're a physical business, you're going to want to make sure that you're filling it out and putting your actual address in. And this is helpful for a couple of reasons. Like for one, it means that Google is going to pick up that you're like a physical you know, brick and mortar kind of business or that you have like a real location, um, which is good for, you know, like showing up in Google results. But then it also means that like it, it shows up more in local results. So if someone, let's say, types in, like we used our example, like upstate New York lawyer or whatever, then like they know, oh, hey, like Louise is in upstate New York lawyer. So she's going to pull up in that one because they've got your physical location as well. Okay, great. That is such a good tip. Yeah. Okay. What mm -hmm. else? Mm -hmm. So if you're a, like an online business, for example, you're probably not going to fill out that location, but there are still other things that are going to be like super helpful for you. So, um, we've got, Oh, the other thing that I want to talk about as well is like making sure that you have the SSL field fixed out and SSL without getting like too technical, um, it's basically like a security setting that you can put on so that when people are browsing your website, it's like a kind of like you've locked all that content in and made sure that like if there's any like personal information or payment stuff, it's all secured that way. So with the SSL field, this is for anyone, whether you're like a, you know, an online business, physical location, any type of Squarespace website, you're going to want to make sure that you're looking at the SSL field. And you probably want to like check that off to make sure that you have it enabled. So that's a really good one. It's under like the security settings or something in um, your Squarespace website. And that basically, once you click on that one too, it's, you know, showing to Google again, like this is a website that's kind of taking SEO seriously because they filled this out and they'll kind of reward you for giving a more secured experience to people that visit your website. All right. And then the last thing that I want to, to share with you guys here is, when it comes to Squarespace SEO, a big factor that you can do is the way that you're structuring and setting up either the pages or the blog posts on your website. And so if you're like, what do you mean by like formatting? Like it's pretty basic. We're talking about using like titles and like headings. So with Squarespace, you have like heading one, heading two, heading three, and you've probably like styled those a little differently, but either way it's showing like it's indicating kind of like a hierarchy of content to Google. So saying like heading one, this is more important. That's what's in the body text or something. So make sure that you're actually using like the headers to break up the content on your website. And then with images, you're going to be including images, but you want to make sure that you're also filling out like the image name field. So you don't want to have something like picture 001.png. Like, no, name the image something special, you know, be like, this is Charlotte O'Hara headshot or something. So that when Google is viewing the image, they have an idea of what it is, right? Like Google can't see the image. You have to kind of tell them what the image is. Yeah, so that is so important, guys. Google cannot read your images unless you tell them what it is. So no more image 1050. No. You have to actually tell them what that photo is. Exactly. So again, this is another instance of Squarespace making it really easy for you. When you add an image to your Squarespace website, there'll be like an image name field just fill that out, like tell them what it's about. And then that already gives all the information directly to Google. Okay, amazing. Thank you so much for sharing such awesome SEO tips with us. So guys. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> so hopefully now you feel more confident with how you can get started with Squarespace SEO. But of course, there is so much more that we could teach you. So Charlotte actually has a Squarespace SEO checklist. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below. And you absolutely want to go and grab that. That is really going to help you improve your site even more. 
And definitely make sure to go to Charlotte's website, which is charlotteohara.ca. She shares tons more Squarespace SEO tutorials. So you definitely want to go and check those out. And if you need help with your website overall, definitely click the link down below to sign up for a free trial of my online course website the wow so this is you know the website creation portion and then charlotte is going it's to so help. good <laughs> <laughs> and then charlotte is going to help you with way more of the seo stuff so um thank you so much for doing this this is so much fun oh it's so fun thanks for having me louise yeah and guys we're going to actually be posting more squarespace seo videos mm -hmm. so make sure that you hit subscribe uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave us a comment down below if you have a question for Charlotte. Just put that in the comments and also subscribe to her channel as well, which I will link to right now. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>